Hey folks, welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the SonarCube scanning part and we're going to scan the repository that we have just made. All right. And we are going to do everything from Jenkins. All right. So before moving further, I would like to request that kindly subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. All right. So as you can see on my screen, let's go forward, go to manage Jenkins. And then post that to scroll down and look for manage plugins here go to available plugins go for sonar and then you can see sonar cube scanner just click on that do not install this one because there is a warning over here just install without restart so you can just click on that and then it will be installed you can wait for a few seconds okay so it has started installing I'll click on restart Jenkins when installation is complete. So it might take up to a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your internet speed. I'll just fast forward the video. Okay, before moving further, I would like to tell you about this. This is official documentation of SonarCube and this is docs.sonarcube.org. It's talking about Jenkins extension for SonarCube. Okay, so you can go through it. This is Sonar Scanner, Sonar Scanner for Maven because we are going to use Maven what how we are going to do it this is all explained over here i'm going to copy this code only install the jenkins extension for sonar Q via the jenkins update center you can go through this i'll be talking about the maven part so let's go there and it is going to tell all the basic things that you need okay these are the prerequisites what are the global settings that you need analyzing how you can do that how you can uh, talk about the authentication token i mean clean install sonar snore and this and that so there are multiple things over here all right so you can go through it I'm going to use uh, this code only so do not do not worry about that all right so you can just uh, take a look at what exactly I do all right so let me go back to the dashboard okay before that let's go here go to project so you have to create a project right so right now we do not have any kind of project so for now I'm going to use the manual way so let's go to manual let's project display name so we'll give a name devsecops project okay and if you want to change the key you can change the key make sure you copy paste everything in some sort of file so i'll just copy this in in a file and open a notepad just type notepad if it's not there then you just have to install it cool place it over here and the other one is the key okay that's my project name and that's the key name i'll just minimize this go back let's set it up okay so once you click over this it will start doing some processing and stuff you have to take care about Jenkins github action this and this this and that what exactly you have to do so you can choose any other thing if I click on other CI let's do that first and uh, you have to create a token name so I'll just remove this I'll give the token name token I guess that would be fine expires in 30 days 90 days you can select anything i'll just select 30 days it should be d control a control c i'll go back over here this let's just generate it perfect you just have to copy this because this is something that you'd be requiring later i'll place it over here continue so what kind of project you're uh, what what kind of project you'll you'll be building you, you'll be using maven gradle.net or something else i'll be using maven so this is something that you need to take care of so let's just copy this go back control v because we are going to use this later okay let's go back and then please visit the official documentation for the scanner for maven if you want to click on that that's what i just showed you so you can go over here and understand if you want to understand something this is the whole documentation over here all right so you can use this so let's circle back okay so this is done i don't think we do not need, need we don't need anything else this is copy and let's go back to jenkins now let's go to manage jenkins and then you have to go to manage credentials because we need to save the credentials right so this is the place we are going to save it let's go back to system global credentials add a credential okay so this is somewhere you need to do the changes okay so here just select this this is fine global is fine we do not have anything 
for username and password we need a secret text okay so what is the secret text which you just copied over here copy this whole of it copy minimize this paste it give it a name i'll give sonar cube hyphen token and that's what you need in the description give the same thing control v i think that's all and create it you not need this so sonar cube to token is perfectly all right now we need to add sonar cube to jenkins the server right let's go back to dashboard go back to manage jenkins and then after that you have to go to configure system now just scroll down or if you don't want to scroll down you can look do control f sonar cube server this is something like this click on environment variables and then click on add sonar cube okay here you have to give a name and this have you have to give so you are running this on local host so you can just copy this and paste it over here in the server authentication token sonar cube token is what you have to select and here you have to give a name i'll just use sonar cube sonar cube i think that's all apply and save it that's all go back to the jenkins dashboard okay perfect the last step the last nail in the coffin is you should go to manage jenkins scroll down you have to add something for uh where is where is the option global tool configuration this perfect that's all and here you have to add a scanner so okay so sonar cube scanner is something what we are looking at so let's just add it click on add sonar cube scanner give it a name i'll give sonar cube scanner that's all i mean you can give any name click on install automatically which is done and this is it is going to automatically install it and you do not have to do anything if you want to add an installer of your own i mean you can do that as well but in this project we are not going to do that let's just apply and click on save and that would be all let's go back to the dashboard okay so now let's go back to the code and you can see that we have sonar cube analysis step over here so this is the new stage that i have added these minor steps with sonar cube env sonar cube is the name that we gave there sh mv and sonar dot sonar that's all let's just commit this editing a new stage that's all commit sync the changes it will move on the changes and i think that's all we have to do so these two steps we already have there we'll just copy this step we'll just copy this step go back over here go back to dashboard go back to devsecops project go back to configure come down come down and then let me expand it a bit this is a stage right so this ends over here and we are going to just remove that i'm sorry about that control this should come from here i'll just refresh it perfect just copy this delete control v apply save and that would be all let's just trigger it now and let's see if we have any sort of results or do we have any sort of failure let's wait for that okay so it has gone to in progress let's go over here and let's see if anything happens go to console output it's building let's go down okay so the progress is happening downloading downloading let's come down come down you can see that sonar cube version 9.6.1 is picked up over here and then it has started the process and it is loading the quality metrics three file index three file has been indexed java test class path this has been happening so this can take up to a few minutes depending on your repository or there is a failure okay the issue over here is you are not authorized to run analysis please contact the project administrator so looks like there is permission issue which is fine so let's just copy this part minimize this go to devsecops project 
go to configure come down and let's try making changes over here okay so let me just paste this first i think this should be fine not this this should be fine I hope you are able to see this, otherwise I'm going to expand it. This should be fine. Remove this. Add it like this and like this should be here. So I hope this should work. Let's just save it apply and save it and run again let's see if that works for us i'll click on build now and let it take some time and you can see that this sonar cube analysis is done and it has give you the successful stuff all right so if i go inside it let's go to console output Let's go down and you can see this is successful. All right, so we might have got the result here as well. So let's go over here and refresh it. So if you refresh it, perfect. You have got the demo passed this. We have got the duplication 73 line of X's XML in Java vulnerabilities this code coverage duplication and we have got all the reports over here. Okay, so this is how you do it. But the topic is debatable because we are working on DevSecOps, right? If I go over here and go to my configure, this is exposed, right? You can see that everyone can read this, every, everyone can read this, everyone can read this. How do I tackle this? How do I get to change? How do I change these? Because I'm not going to put these things in my code, right? And if there would be a Jenkins file with which has all of this code and all of these things it would be not good and it would be not secure for for us so how do we tackle that so that's what we are going to discuss now so let's go to manage jenkins and after that we have to go to configure system which is this one and then global properties option okay so look for global properties option over here this is jenkins location which is perfect this is the global property options okay click on environment variables and add Okay, so the first name we are going to give is sonar hyphen, just don't use hyphen, sonar URL. We are going to go to our this, this is the URL. Let's just copy that. Go over here, paste the value. Okay, and this sonar URL, copy from here. give it dollar control v okay project key is fine i mean it doesn't matter login should be an issue so just cut dollar login like that not hash it should be a dollar okay that's we are going to use go back over here add one more give the value over here and login if you want to be more specific give sonar login apply save okay so once you save it you will just move out go to devops project go to configure it was sonar login right keep it for your safe um, safety i mean Go back, come down, come down. Just copy this from here, sonar login. Paste it over here. Perfect. Similarly, sonar URL, copy this, paste it over here. And let's see if this works or not okay so we are done and now you cannot see anything apply and save 
let's click on build now and see if our experiment is successful or not all right let's wait for it okay so you can see that it is successful over here and if i go over here project last minute last analysis was eight minutes ago refresh it 23 seconds ago which means now our code is protected and whatever code we have copied this one you can save it over somewhere so what we'll do is we'll copy this and go back to our repository not this one we do not need this we do not we'll paste it over here so that you can use it but whenever you are creating your own project you can create your own keys even if i have used this key over here you can place it in environment variables and something like that something like that and this would be much beneficial for you all right so this is the one principle of devsecops security part because we are not pasting our code in github profile in our jenkins file what we are doing is we are just making a use of environment variables and there are multiple third party tools available there are there is a lot of stuff that is online av available for the security part but this is usage of security within the jenkins premises all right so folks i hope you have understood this part if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one